How did Louvain get from being a failed cavalry candidate and dealer in natural history to an explorer? He himself is silent on the conditions on which he sailed to the Cape, a colony under Dutch control. One day, in the National Library in Cape Town, Karel Schumann, then the archivist, pointed out to me that it was very odd that the Dutch East India Company allowed non-company members into the Cape, as company servants, who were normally not Dutch, were expected to go to the far more hazardous East Indies instead. Karel then put me in touch with the Dutch historian Fam Gastra, who did what nobody had done before, and looked at the Dutch East India Company records in The Hague. What these showed was that Louvain, though he nowhere states this in the text, was in company service during the whole time he was away from Europe, and was paid accordingly on his return to Holland as a lowly constabelmat, or gunner's mate, on the company ship The Son, which moved primarily between Cape Town and Robben Island. So the question remained, how had he been able to get off in Cape Town? And on what pretext did the company pay him for a fictitious service when he was travelling in the interior?